Oliver Goldsmith Oliver Goldsmith was a versatile Anglo-Irish writer known for his contributions to various literary genres including essays and poetry novels and drama His notable works include The Citizen of the World The Deserted Village The Vicar of Wakefield and She Stoops to Conquer Born in 1730 in Palace County Longford Ireland Goldsmith was the son of an Anglo-Irish clergyman He displayed a talent for storytelling from a young age but did not excel as a student He attended Trinity College Dublin where he faced potential expulsion due to his involvement in the Black Dog riot a student protest After completing his degree he briefly considered a career in the church but ultimately pursued a different path Goldsmith embarked on an itinerant lifestyle studying medicine in Edinburgh without obtaining a degree and traveling across Europe He arrived in London in 1756 where he initially struggled financially This his literary career began in journalism contributing essays to Ralph Griffith's monthly review Goldsmith's engaging style and sense of humor gained him recognition and his essays were later collected in The Citizen of the World in 1762. During this period, he became friends with Samuel Johnson, a prominent figure in the London literary scene. Goldsmith was also a member of the club, a literary dining society founded in 1746, which included Johnson and artist Joshua Reynolds. In 1764 Goldsmith gained recognition as a poet with The Traveler a work that carried his name however he faced chronic financial difficulties due to his gambling habits and generosity often living beyond his means despite his financial challenges Goldsmith continued to write prolifically he published The Vicar of Wakefield a humorous portrayal of village life which helped alleviate his financial troubles he also ventured into drama with The Good Natured Man in 1768 and achieved his greatest theatrical success with She Stoops to Conquer in 1773 a comedy in which a woman poses as a maid to win a man's affection tragically goldsmith's life was cut short when he died of a brief illness in 1774 at the age of 43 he was buried in london's temple church samuel johnson remembered him as a writer who excelled in various forms of literature and adorned everything he touched with his talent Goldsmith's contributions to English literature continue to be celebrated today. Some of his notable works include An Inquiry into the Present State of Polite Learning in Europe, She Stoops to Conquer, Citizen of the World or Letters from a Chinese Philosopher, Deserted Village, Traveler and The Vicar of Wakefield. The Citizen of the World or Letters from a Chinese Philosopher by Oliver Goldsmith is a series of letters that began appearing in the public ledger in 1760. These letters are purportedly written by a Chinese traveler named Lien Chi who is visiting England. Through this fictional outsider's perspective, Goldsmith provides ironic and moralistic commentary on British society and manners. The work is inspired by Montesquieu's earlier essay series Persian Letters. By adopting the persona of a Chinese philosopher observing British society, Goldsmith offers a unique and satirical way of English life during the 18th century. The Traveler The Traveler or a Prospect of Society is a philosophical poem written by Oliver Goldsmith in 1764. This heroic poem written in an Augustan style explores the causes of happiness and unhappiness in various nations. It is considered one of Goldsmith's most significant works and is regarded as a classic of mid 18th century poetry. The Traveler played a pivotal role in establishing Goldsmith's reputation as a poet. In the poem Goldsmith reflects on the human condition, societal values and the pursuit of happiness, making it a thought-provoking literary piece. The Deserted Village, published in 1770. The Deserted Village is a pastoral elegy penned by Oliver Goldsmith and published in 1770. This poem is regarded as one of Goldsmith's major works and serves as an idealized portrayal of rural life. It laments the decline of this way of life. which was being eroded by various factors including the displacement of agrarian villagers the greed of landlords and socio economic and political changes in the deserted village goldsmith depicts auburn the titular village which was once the narrator's childhood home however due to the enclosure laws and the desire of aristocrats to expand their estates small private farmers were displaced leading to the village's decline The poem addresses the hardships faced by the villagers who were forced to leave their homes for challenging lives in urban areas both in England and America. 
George Crabbe, a contemporary poet, responded to the perceived sentimentality of the deserted village by creating a contrasting view of the country's poor in his poem, The Village, published in 1783. Goldsmith's poem remains a notable work in the genre of pastoral poetry, offering a nostalgic and melancholic portrayal of a vanishing way of life in rural England. The Vicar of Wakefield The Vicar of Wakefield was published in two volumes in 1766. The story is narrated by Dr. Charles Primrose, the titular character and vicar of a country parish. The novel provides a portrait of village life and follows the trials and tribulations endured by the Primrose family. These trials include financial setbacks, the seduction of one daughter, the destruction of their home by fire, and the vicar's incarceration. Despite the hardships they face, the novel ultimately ends on a positive note, with all issues resolved. Dr. Primrose, known for his generosity, donates his modest annual salary to local orphans and war veterans. However, the family's peaceful life is disrupted when they lose their wealth due to the bankruptcy of their merchant investor. The financial crisis leads to the cancellation of the wedding between their son George and the wealthy Arabella Wilmot. The family relocates to a more humble parish on the land of Squire Thornhill, a known womanizer. The story follows their interactions with various characters, including Mr. Burchill, a friend who rescues Sophia from drowning, and Squire Thornhill himself, who captivates Olivia with his charm. As the narrative unfolds, Olivia's disappearance, Sophia's abduction, and George's imprisonment create further challenges for the Primrose family. However, the arrival of Mr. Burchill, who is revealed to be Sir William Thornhill in disguise, helps resolve these issues. The novel ends with a double wedding, with George marrying Arabella and Sir William Thornhill marrying Sophia. The family's wealth is also restored, and the story concludes on a positive note. The Good-Natured Man The Good-Natured Man is a play written by Oliver Goldsmith in 1768. This comedy was first performed at the Covent Garden Theatre in the same year, with Mary Bulkley portraying the character Miss Richland. The play was written in a comedic style and became moderately successful during its initial run. However, the printed version of the play gained popularity among the reading public. The plot of The Good-Natured Man revolves around various characters and their interactions, highlighting themes of human nature and social dynamics. While the play achieved a degree of success, it faced co competition from Hugh Kelly's play False Delicacy, which was staged at Drury Lane Theatre. The Good-Natured Man and False Delicacy were presented to audiences simultaneously, with Kelly's play ultimately proving more popular. Despite not achieving the same level of success as some of Goldsmith's other works, The Good-Natured Man remains a notable piece within his body of dramatic and comedic writing.